Okay, welcome once again to a little uh, interview video from the Department of Theater and Dance. My name is Tom Lachlan, Chair of the Department of Theater and Dance, and with me today happens to be uh, Mr. Thomas Rayner and Mr. Jason Weisinger. Tom is uh, in our upcoming show called Edges. This is an independent production, and as well, Jason is the uh, musical director for it, and uh, they've asked me to put together a video for them to talk about it, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is tell Tom to talk about it. So, Tom, you're on. Uh, Tell us about the show. So the show Edges is a contemporary musical theater song cycle written by Ben Pasek and Justin Paul. Uh, they wrote it their sophomore year of uh, college at University of Michigan when they were in the musical theater program. And they basically decided to write a musical because they wanted to write about things that they felt were important to this generation, sort of. Um, so the show is a song cycle, so there's no actual script in terms of uh, just spoken text within the libretto. However, uh, it's all song and a little bit of dance that we threw in, and the show discusses the idea of figuring out who it is that we want to become in our lives, because we often reach these points where we sort of are coasting and we're just going with the flow and rolling with things, and we need to make a decision as to whether or not we want to continue coasting along through our lives or move ahead and find something new and possibly better, possibly worse. We don't know, but the question is, will it be worth the risk? Oh, okay. So that sounds like an interesting premise. Um, um, Jason, give us a little idea of what the music is like. You're the music director, so I okay. imagine you studied the music and sort of how these songs tie together or what, what you think musically strings them together. Just give us a right. little idea about it. I think the, the biggest, the most interesting part of the whole show is that it's such an eclectic mix of styles of music, but it's all music that uh, is reflected through our generation. Um, it's it's all music that we w once we hear it we go oh that's a great song and for myself after every rehearsal after every rehearse every song I say this is my favorite song so there are s 16 songs in the show and they're all my favorite and I have a feeling that people are gonna feel that way too the music is great and uh, the the way that they write the text into the music it fits so perfectly in it and it allows us to to connect to the characters so well. And uh, it's something that is not always prevalent in, in musical theater. Sometimes it's, it's all about the music, or it's all about the story. And they, they just mix it all in so perfectly, and it's, it's a really great experience. Can you, can, can you give me a specific example of that? Like, uh, can, can you pick a specific song and give me uh, the style of it and why you think it's, um, you know, both of you have used the term for our generation. Right. What makes it specific to your generation that someone of my generation would, wouldn't, wouldn't appreciate it, or is that what you're trying to say, I, I don't what? think that you wouldn't appreciate it. I think it, it allows our generation to appreciate it more. There's a lot of great music that has come before us, and there's a, a lot of bad music that has come before us, and, and I think that they find a way to bring aspects of today's music into different styles of music. Like, there's a lot of jazz influence in it, and there's there's one of the songs, Ready to Be Loved, it kind of reminds me of a disco song. And they just find a way to infuse everything that we love about our music, our generation's music, and generations that come before us, that music, to bring it together. And it, it allows us to connect to, uh, I guess, the past, present, and future. So, 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 Tom, I, you give. How about um, what's a song that you sing that you think is reflective of this? Um, let's see. Uh, one of my solos is "Boy with Dreams," and it is it's kind of like this rocky, poppy song that uh, it, you know it hits all the things that you'd expect from a you know a, a solo number. You know, it goes real high, goes real low, and it. But but it discusses, you know working at your dead-end job because you need to pay your way through college and how, you, you know, your boss wants this to be your biggest priority, but the thing is, it's just your, you know, your weekend job to pay your way through college and how, but you have all these dreams you need to fulfill and you want to fulfill. So, but they wrote it, and they write it in such a way that it's, that it makes the show interesting and fun for our generation, but again, the themes, I think, are so universal and what 
um, especially what we've decided to do with the production, especially what our director, Elizabeth Brock, has decided to do with the production, she has made it so that um, anybody can look at that, look at the characters, the four characters in the show, because they're all at different points in their life, um, and say, oh, either I was there, or I'm there now, or oh, maybe I'll be there one day, and what's that going to be like for me? So she's done it in such a way that the characters aren't just a character on stage, but there's people that we can all relate to, Pat, the younger generation, per present generation, and especially, the, I do think, the older generations. So. Um, so, so, so there'll be something in it that I can relate to? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, without a doubt. Uh, <laughs> without okay. a doubt. Without right, a doubt. Uh, okay. Um, the, the title, Edges, why the title? Why do you think the title? It's a tough question. Um, I think it's because we're the whole show is these people teetering on the edge of moving into their futures, or staying where they currently are, or slipping backwards potentially. So it's this fine line and these edges that we walk around, where we are, where we need to go, where we come from, and I think that's really what the title means. It's a very um, thought-provoking title, I guess, especially once you've listened to the material and seen the way especially we've done the production. Uh, how about um, how about uh, instrumentation orchestration, Jason? What what what, what kind of how, how are we going to hear the music uh, rendered? There is a uh, it's, it's basically a rock band. There's piano, bass, and drums, and that's it. And uh, and it's uh, it works so well. Again, just bringing the the sort of music that people want to hear, I think. And uh, I mean, I love listening to an orchestra play, but lots of people don't like that. So it just brings it closer to the everyday person and how they experience their life. And uh, it's also just a lot of fun playing in a rock band. That's a rock band? Piano, bass, and drums? Billy Joel does it. Well, I don't know. I, <laughs> well, see, I'm starting to show my age. We used to okay. call that a combo in it my is days. A, <laughs> it, it is a combo, yeah. A rock band generally yeah. has, um, you know, at least one or two guitars, okay. well, and so uh, that's a, well, I, you know, that's that's good. So, so it, it is a small combo, it's though. It's a small combo. Small uh, piano. Do you play it? Are yeah, you playing? Yeah, I'm playing piano. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, great. Um, can you give us some details about when, where, time, place, all that kind of stuff? Um, so we have that. We have that up for people to listen to. Absolutely. The show will be taking place this Saturday, January 29th, at two and eight p.m. That's one day only. One January 29th. Okay. One day okay. only. At two and eight p.m. in the Bartlett Theater. Uh, seating is limited. However, it is a free show. Free it show! It is. Hey, it is. all right. It is. You gotta love that. Right. Yeah, free admission. It's open to the public, and we hope everyone will come and join us. How many How many seats are we talking about? Do you know what, uh, what seats? We actually just cut a few more seats from the audience because of lighting purposes uh -huh. and performance purposes. So uh, we're rounding out right now at 132. 132 seats, so you know that just lets people know, yeah. you know, how many people are there. So that's January 29th. Edges, a musical song cycle, uh, one uh, day only. One performance at two o'clock p.m. One performance at eight o'clock p.m. in the Bartlett Theater. I see you got a good tech staff too. Nick Mengi, uh, Colin Shows uh, doing the lighting design. Nick Mengi on scene design and Anna Slocum on costume design. So. Uh, also, I see it features Emma Traubert, uh, Rafi Santos, and Claire Walton. So, sounds like it should be fun. Any last words for us, guys? Um, just uh, come see. It should yeah. be a good time. Regardless. It's a great little independent project. Regardless of your age. Yeah. Yes, right. exactly. Regardless. Thank you. Thanks for coming in, gentlemen. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks a lot.